Yo, what is up everybody? It's African back at it again. Now, in this video, I'm going to be explaining how Shao Kong's buffs majorly, majorly impacted. So now you see this move is now good, it is now safe now. It is only minus seven. I forgot what it originally was, but no other move in this game can punish this move besides Geras's down one. Geras's down one is a six frame move and Shao Kong is minus seven. So only Geras's six frame down one or any other six frame move can punish this. Other than that nothing else can punish it. Not even Kano's down one can punish this move. And Kano's down one is pretty fast. So yeah, this move is now safe on block and is not punishable. So the only way to punish it is to poke it. And that's only if you have a 6 frame down one. Now I'm going to be showing you guys um, more stuff to Shao Kong. Now these buffs, I think it's actually going to impact Shao Kong by a lot. Sorry my voice sounds raspy, I just got done recording the other video. But I'm gonna be showing you guys like how it's even affected full screen. You still cannot punish it. The only way you can punish it is as I said, if you do down one. So you keep demonstrating. And also you have to frame perfect just down one, because you only have a one frame gap. Since this move is a 7 frame and the down one is a 6 frame, you have to time it perfectly. Otherwise, you would either not punish it or it would just be too late. And also, you can follow this block the move as well. So the only way you can deal with this move now is if you have a 6 frame down one or you flawless block it. So those are basically the only ways you can stop Shao Kong's move. This move is actually going to be very, very effective. And also, what I forgot to mention is you can now combo out of this move, actually. And the move is very, very effective. Like, you can do a lot of combos off of it. I've seen someone do like 50% no meter, which is pretty insane. Before we get on to that, I'm going to be going over Shao Kong string, the back three, four. Guys, we all know about this string. If you flawless block the second hit of it, you could automatically get a punish, and Shao Kong could not do anything. He couldn't special cancel, he couldn't do the command grab. If you flawless block the second hit, right? It was over for Shao Kong. He had to eat a full combo. You could either modify the flawless block or just, you know, do a safe string. But now this move is actually safe which it is not punishable if you flawless block the second hit Shao Kong can now actually special cancel out of it which I'm going to be showing on later on in the video but yeah this move is not as bad as it used to be you can still flawless modify it but as you see uh, I'm going to try to you know get it right but basically um, what I'm trying to tell you guys is the second hit is no longer bad anymore you can still do a special cancel out of it. So before then, there's nothing you could have done. But now you can actually do a special cancel out of it. You can do any special you want. So what you want to go for mainly is that move I kept demonstrating in the beginning of the video. The hammer lunge. Yeah, you really want to use that move at the end of the string. The only problem is the startup is pretty slow. So if your opponent sees you trying to use this move, they can actually hit you out of it. So that's what you want to be careful of. So if your opponent is not going to hit you out, um, you might want to go for another move. And also the modified version is actually plus one on block, which they never ever mentioned in the patch notes so right now I'm just trying the you know start the recording because the bot wasn't doing it. see look you can hit him out of it but the problem is 
Shao Kahn becomes airborne, so it's gonna be hard to punish him. But yeah, even though you can still special cancel, you can still do the flawless modified block. But yeah, back then there's nothing you could have done. But now, you know, Shao Kahn can, you know, actually do a special cancel. And sorry if I keep saying the same thing over and over again. But I just want to make sure that everyone understands. But yeah, even if Shao, even if you flawless block the second hit, you can still punish it, but you have to modify it. So even if Shao Kahn special cancels it, you have to be qu quick with the modification of Frost Lock. See, so if you're going to go for up 2, it's either going to be a counter or it's going to be a trade. But if you go for up 3, then it's going to be a punish. Because up 3 has armor, but it's not a launcher. And up 2 has no armor, but it is a launcher. So yeah, that move is really, really effective. The hammer lunge modification. You can't combo out of it, but it's plus one on block, so no other move in the game can punish this move. This puts Shao Kong in a plus advantage. However, I'm pretty sure you can still hit him out of it. So in order to like actually advance with this move, Shao Kong would have to do like other fast moves as well, like his down one for example. But it doesn't have enough range. But yeah, as you see, we both jump at the same time. Now, obviously, the opponent this time is if he would jump slower, but I think even though it's plus one, for some reason, you're still able to jump at the same time. Which I'm pretty sure Shao Kong should be able to jump first. I think he is, but it's very, like, unnoticeable. But yeah, since it's Shao Kong is plus frames, he can mash out of it if he wants to, which. It really isn't matching since it is plus frames, but as you can see, Beerus is down 3 is faster than Shao Kahn, down 4. So, sometimes Shao Kong might hit, sometimes Gears might hit. So, at this point, it honestly depends on whose move is faster and who clicks the move first. So as you can see, Amplify it. And you can actually jump over the pokes if this is your plus frame. Since you're plus one, you can easily jump out the po pokes. Unless your opponent goes for a standing one, but you know, you can't anti in this game, so you probably don't have to worry about that. But yeah, Shao Kong is safe with this move. If you really want to like, stop your opponent from trying to reverse on you, aka backdash, you might want to go for back three. Because just say your opponent respects your move, which kind of has to. Uh, he would have to jump, he would jump or backdash, but back three would be it out. However, he goes for a faster move, then you might want to go for a poke. And also, I'm going to be demonstrating that you can actually combo nod the hammer lunge. This is not an optimal combo, I'll be making a whole other video on it. Well, it'll be a video, probably be like, you know, clips. But yeah, you can definitely combo on this move. You can even look up videos on it. People have done insane combos with this move. You can do like 40% no meter, I believe. But obviously, you need a crush and blow out of it. But yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, I think I already mentioned it, but even if you flawless block the second hit, you can special cancel, but you cannot commit into the command grab. So keep that in mind. If your opponent flawless blocks the second hit, if he doesn't fall, if he doesn't modify the flawless block, still go into a special but yeah that's all i gotta say guys hopefully this video helped you and shout out to all the shot kong mains i'll see you guys later after we out